Hey, hey, welcome back from a little hiatus on the channel. That was because once again my family was sick. I feel like every other week with these kids, it's just something. This time there was a stomach bug going around and you don't need to know all the gory details. That's not what you're here to talk about. So let's dive into what we are here to talk about, which is part two of the much anticipated video hobbies that make you money. And if you want to see part one first, please go check that out. But for today, we're just going to do a little recap and then dive into some of these hobbies. So what I was getting at is that hobbies, why not choose or do hobbies that you enjoy that can make you money? So that can make you money by either saving you the time and energy and cost of buying it in the store, or it can make you money as a small business if you want to do that, or as a workable skill you could put on a resume as you are uh, working for someone else, or you know, looking to change positions maybe. I also have a video on um, trying to decide whether you should quit your job and change positions. So check that out if that's something you might be interested in. But for today, let's get into these hobbies. I kind of used my skill of gardening as a my favorite hobby um, and as an example because one gardening not only saves me money from buying the fruits and vegetables that I grow from going to the store getting in my car spending the gas spending the time shopping for them spending the time picking them up if I do a pickup order which is let's face it what most of us do these days um, or even shopping for it and having it delivered now I don't personally do that but I know a lot of people who do and that's perfectly logical way to get your groceries because it saves a lot of time. Well, um, I enjoy gardening, so while I'm enjoying myself gardening, why don't I just grow some things that will save me a little money? And that's how it's making me money because it's a lot cheaper to buy these seeds and grow my own if I'm going to be growing things anyway than it is to grow things on one hand and then also shop for the same things on the other hand, right? Makes sense. So there's lots of hobbies that you could spend this way. And sometimes it just takes your brain a little bit. Got to get a kickstart from someone else. So let's dive into some of the other hobbies. Um, networking. If you really like to make friends, you are good at networking. And it might come as a surprise to you that not all people are. My sister's really good at this. She knows people all around our town. And she doesn't even live here anymore and hasn't for a long, long time. Um, I, on the other hand, I don't connect with people instantly. And I'm... It's just how I am. I'm okay with that. But if you are really good at that, that is a valuable skill. You could get a position in HR. If you are really good at connecting the right people, you could be a headhunter. You could be a real estate agent. You could um, work it so that you are the middleman and you know have a contract for a finder's fee when you connect the right people. If you wanted to take that on your own business kind of spin. But it is a really cool skill that not a lot of people, you know, have. Not, not everybody has that. And I think it's, like I said, a surprise sometimes to know that something that you're really good at and something that you just kind of do automatically that someone else isn't, really isn't very good at it and sees that as kind of a skill. But it's true, especially with a lot of these. Another one is, I think we did baking. So let's move down the line to cars. So I know some of my ladies out there are probably interested in cars. I love cars. I don't know a lot about the inner workings of cars, but I like to know the makes and models of the really cool cars that I see on the road. It's something my husband and I have in common. He loves cars, but he just happens to know a little more about the mechanical side of things. But if you are on either side of that, you know, you could save money by doing DIY oil changes. That's a way it could save you money. Um, it, you could, and a, quite a lot, or DIY repairs, good grief. Have you seen the cost of repairs these days? So that is a huge one that could end up making you money by not having to buy the labor from somebody else. Um, it can also make you money if you really, really enjoy it as a laborer. You could do it for friends and family, charge less than the other people, and um, you've got yourself a business right there. You know, I mean, there's just a lot of skill that goes into cars that uh, I know some women out there have. Uh, I am not one of them currently, but maybe in the future, it's something fun to learn about, especially since it's not that common among women and it might be a good skill for you to have and make some money off of. Uh, driving. I don't really like to drive. I get major road rage. My husband loves to drive and he's good at it. He's 
got really good spatial awareness and he is very, very good at, you know, just driving while I sit in the passenger seat and scroll my phone or take a nap or whatever it is I want to do, but I don't want to be driving. Um, if you love to drive, you could definitely turn that into a hobby. You know about Uber and Lyft and all of those good uh, ride sharing services that you could join up with if you wanted to make a quick buck off of it. If you really like driving kids, you could be a bus driver or a carpooler. You could set up carpools and be the driver, offer to be the driver and have everybody pitch in for gas and it could be a little business for you and on a very small scale without having to get Uber or Lyft involved and just you know, making um, sure that you have all the appropriate insurance that you would need to do that. Um, let's see, cooking. I think I did this one before, but cooking, you could turn yourself into a personal chef. You could use your skills in the family. My husband's really good at prepping food for cooking. You know, I do a lot of the cooking because I'm at home a lot of the time at, at dinner time, and he's not because he's working dinner time. Um, but he can prep vegetables and fruits and all of the stuff that we need to make a meal in half of the time that I can. So if he's got that specialized skill and it's something that he likes to do anyway, you know, he, he wants to be a chef, it may not be his favorite part of the job, but if it's something that he can do 10 times faster than me, why wouldn't we use that skill to its full advantage and save ourselves some time and money? Money because before he was even helping me prep vegetables when he was working 50 and 60 hours a week and I was the one responsible for all of the food prep and prep and uh, cooking um, we would buy a lot of pre-cut things and those things come become expensive and they don't last as long once you've cut them so saving yourself a lot of time saving yourself a lot of money you could really do a lot with personal chef or catering business or just helping family and friends prep their fruits and vegetables for meals every single week. Uh, cosmetics. I know people who are really good at makeup. I'm not that great at the makeup thing. It's not a huge interest of mine. I don't have a lot of time that I spend on my face every day. You can probably tell that, but I just don't feel like it's something that I want to spend my time on. And that's cool. Everybody has their own thing, but if you're really good on it, it's in high demand, especially for weddings, of course. Nobody wants to mess up the makeup at a wedding, right? That would be a horrible, horrible mistake because it's going to be in every picture. But you, if you are good at it, could sell that skill to brides. You could sell that skill um, even in your own circles doing it for homecoming. You could sell that skill for um, YouTube videos. You know, any of these you could really do a YouTube video off of and make a channel. Um, I think every day, you know, what am I doing making these videos? But this is something that I love to talk about, so I do it. And I think, you know, just one more, just one more. And I have a lot of good ideas, and I think, oh, I have to talk about that, so just one more. But yeah, if you have something that you're passionate about and that you love to do and you're really good at doing it, consider making a YouTube channel or just using that skill to make you money. Grocery shopping. I mentioned this a little bit before, but if you're really good at grocery shopping, you could join up with Shipped. You could give it as gifts to new moms. You could give it as gifts to family members. You know, if they are older and can't get out on their own, and um, you just offer to help them out, and it's just something that could, you know, it, it could help people out. It could save you some money. It could save them some money. Um, if you love kids, you could. Uh, you could babysit, you know, daycare for a few of your friends. I'm not, I'm not talking a business type of thing, but I'm talking just a simple, you know, hey, I'll watch your kid if you watch mine for date night for, you know, time is valuable. As a mom of three little, little kids, well, one, one bigger kid and two little, little kids, but as a mom, time is valuable and time spent with your significant other alone is even more valuable. I can vouch for that, especially when you two have separate schedules. So trade your time for somebody else's time. If you babysit one day, maybe they'll babysit another day. You take their kids out, they'll take your kids out. You carpool theirs, they'll carpool yours. And it helps free up everybody's time. Everybody wins in that situation. Um, pet sitting, you could dog walk, you could you know, dog sit if you don't have, you know, if you have your own place and your own space and 
uh, time to do that. You could house sit for people who are going on vacation. I mean, there's just lots of ways you could spend these skills. Um, this is one of my favorites because it's something I really like to nerd out on, and it is Excel sheets. If you're really good at numbers and Excel sheets, I'm, I'm terrible at math. I, I'm actually not terrible at math. I, let me put this a different way. I don't enjoy doing math. Hate it. Never liked doing it because, to me, I knew that I would not be using a lot of it when I grew up because I didn't enjoy it. It was something that it was like a hard line in the sand for me. I did not want to do math when I grew up. But give me an application that does all the math for me and let me organize all the moving pieces of that. And I love it. So Excel, I love doing Excel. And there are people out there that hate doing Excel, if I could believe it. But you could be that middleman and you know organize their spreadsheets for them, make things move more efficiently. If you're really good at doing macros, then, and I'm showing my nerdiness now, but if you're good at that kind of thing, that is valuable information, trust me. And lastly, reading, because this is also one of my favorites. I used to do this a lot as a kid, but I don't get time to read so much anymore. But if you love to read and maybe don't have time because you think that time is better spent making some money or doing something that is more profitable for your family, you could set up a freelance service where you proofread or edit things. Um, you could teach English to, to kids in foreign countries. You could teach... English to adults as a second language, there is just a lot of opportunity out there that I think we don't always wrap our minds around and we don't always see the possibilities. I know for me, I often am very limited by what is out there already and I think I'm not a good outside the box thinker. I'm a good connector of ideas. I connect things well, but I do not think well outside the box. And I think sometimes we just need a little push to realize what is possible and a little suggestion to realize what is actually possible out there. And so with that, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that and have some other suggestions, please give me a comment below. Hit that thumbs up button so that you don't miss other videos and subscribe, of course, so you don't miss my next videos. And in the meantime, I will see you next time. Bye.